What's up guys, it's the Funky Finds here and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I bought a coloring book at Walmart. There it is. It is called The Magical Jungle Coloring Book. It's supposed to be relaxing, whatever, whatever. But I have a lot of thoughts that I just, they make no sense and I thought the Funky Finds philosophy coloring time would be great. So this is thoughts while I'm coloring. We're gonna start with the turtle. And I'm just gonna color freely with my amazing 36, I'm a cool kid. I'm a cool kid. Like the gym, it's a, it's a room where you work out. The grocery store is a room where you buy food. The mall is a place where you get clothing and other items. Who thought of us wearing clothing? Where did that come from? What happened to just being butt naked? I would like it a lot more if we were butt naked. You would know exactly what people's body look like. I mean, like I like clothes and everything, but I think it'd be way cooler if we were just naked and like maybe we just wore shoes. Imagine that. If we just wore shoes and that was it. No clothing needed. Think about acting. Acting is a job. To act like someone else is a job. So are people who have multiple personalities just being really good at a job? Possibly. Depends how you look at it. Everything's about perspective. If you think that maybe being in jail is just a like a retreat that you have to um, <laughs> maybe you shank the bitch next to you while you're sleeping. Depends on your perspective. It really does. Do we really see blue and green? Or is blue brown and green red? Maybe our eyeballs are just trained to see it that way or we're made to see it that way. You never know. Do dogs really see in black and white? Or is that just a lie? Maybe dogs are smarter than us. Is Toy Story real? Sometimes I think it is. That maybe Toy Story and the whole concept of toys waking up while we're sleeping and turning down for what is real. If there were a zombie apocalypse, would you survive? I know I, either I would survive and be one of the last ones standing or I wouldn't make it past the first hour. There's no in between for me. But for me to find out, there has to be an actual zombie apocalypse. Who thought of like white teeth as being beautiful? Who did that? I love how Tana Mojo thinks that there's a conspiracy that the GPS is teaming up with the gas companies. I kind of agree though. Just a little bit. Because when there's four hours of traffic and it tells you it's only one. Very interesting. My hair is kind of frizzy, but who said that that is bad? Why must my hair be perfectly pin straight? Why does me having a couple of friends on my face, why is that a bad thing? They come for a while and they go. They keep me company. Why must I spend 20 and above dollars to hold my boobs up with a contraction that's called a bra? Why can't I just go braless? If I were to go with no bra to work, would that be inappropriate? Why is my name the Funky Vines? I don't know. I felt like it. I wanted an alter ego. For me to express things like this, what is normal? I think someone 
made a lot of ideas. Not someone, but many people made a, a lot of ideas to make themselves feel better about themselves. Why is the F word so bad? I say it all the time. I just think it's a way of expressing my emotion. Why must I shave my armpits as a woman? That's why I haven't. Half the stuff I know is from movies and TV shows. But the people who made those TV shows and movies got it from somewhere. I don't understand why people get so disgusted when I talk about poop. It's so relaxing pooping. Like just sitting by yourself for a second and feeling that like orgasmic feeling of just letting out this waste from your body. It's a very relaxing, relieving feeling. I don't get it. <sighs> and why can't I burp? Why is that me not being a lady? <laughs> when people tell me, oh, that's not ladylike, I tell them, well, I'm not a lady then. Why should I have to say excuse me? Excuse me for what? For making you uncomfortable by my bodily releases? There's no need. 